everyone. Can the break time be longer? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to talk about, as you see, the chemical substances in skincare products. And it will be like a chemistry class or something. But, um, but I'll try not to make it too boring. Okay. The motive for choosing the subject. Uh, once my teacher asked if I was interested in science or not, and I answered absolutely not. Because when it comes to science, I always think of astronomy. But, but I'm not interested in astronomy at all. So, um, but actually science is, a, oh sorry, a chemistry is a science too, right? Um, and I really care I care a lot about the chemical substances in our daily lives, so I guess, I think, in a way, I'm interested in science. Um, every year, British, uh, British women absorb about 2.25 kilograms of carcinogens, means and the arsenic is pishon. Oh, oh, it's another name, Shen, right? by using cosmetics and uh, uh, British women use the most cosmetics more than other uh, other women in, in other European countries okay. so are you surprised about the number yeah oh quite it's a lot right so how, how much hmm? how much about how much in Taiwan? You know, have you How much in Taiwan? What is the number in Taiwan? Yeah. Much lower. Much lower? Yes. yes. Higher. Really? One, one two, Higher three. than the bigger. Uh, so I think Taiwanese women absorb more, uh, much more than this. I think it's much less. I think in Asia country, a uh, Korean girl oh, yeah. would be the, the most. Would no, be Korean girl goes to surgery instead of. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other topic. We, we, we can see that. Yeah, the nationwide uh, accumulation, or that that's the number for every one. I think it's per person. Uh, per person, yeah. right? But for this amount of arsenic, I think that will kill thousands of ten thousands of people. Uh, well, arsenic is not really well. It depends on the. It depends on the. Uh, the, the Concentration. concentration. Yeah, it depends. And the people do exercises, so so their body can can excrete some some bad things, right? Yeah. So they are not dead. Okay. <laughs> I think it's, it's the only average number. Okay. Um, okay. So later I'm going to talk about several chemical substances. Have, uh, do you know surfactants? Mm -hmm. But I think many of you have heard the, the Chinese word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the doctor knocked his head. <laughs> and, uh, do you know parabens? Yeah. Parabens is very famous. Try closer. PG and the fragrance. Fragrance in Chinese, oh sorry. Fragrance is xiang, xiang liao, or perfume. perfume. And parfum is the French name. Then, uh, many of you know this rank. The first one is surfactants. Okay, so it's a drop of water. Uh, okay, the zooming photo. And uh, uh, this is one of the surfactant molecules. The molecule doesn't have a body, hands, or feet. It just has a head and a tail. Okay. <laughs> Just like another thing, right? <laughs> and, uh, and the head part is called, uh, the head part is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic in Chinese, we, uh, we call it 清水性的, means here, loves water. And the tail part is lipophilic, which means it loves oil substances. And in general, oil and water don't mix, right? 
but with surfactants they can mix. So here are the hydrophilic parts and the analytic parts. Okay, see here on the on the little blue ones are the water molecules. So the hydrophilic parts can attract the water molecules. And and here is the dirt. And many, many of the dirt are made of oily substance. So the tail part on the lipophilic part can attract the dirt or the or the oily substances. Okay. So with this process, we can clean things, right? Yeah. To clean the oily substances. So surfactants is the soap in old days, right? Um, okay, but because of the same process we just mentioned, surfactants may destroy the sebum. Sebum is the pH, pH of our skin. Um, so when our skin comes into contact with surfactants, it may destroy the sebum. So many people, uh, many people who who work in in hair salons or 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 wash dishes in restaurants, their skin may suffer from eczema. Eczema is shi zhen or fu gui shu. And I told my teacher about this and he said he really got a, he got a part-time job in a restaurant and his job is washing dishes and he really got eczema at that time. Okay, SLS is an SLS. This one is I think you can see it in in almost 99% of the the cleansing things, or the cleansing products we use. Okay, SLS is very is widely used. Ah, and they are surfactants, of course. But the two kinds of surfactants are not carcinogens, not. Uh, but they are highly irritant and so they may be harmful to the epidermis. Epidermis is the biopi of our of our skin. So we should be careful of them too. Okay, the next one is parabens. Uh, does any uh, has anyone heard of paraben before? Okay. Only two? Oh, thank you. But this one is very it's very well known. Uh, this is used as the preservatives in a large number of skincare products. Uh, you can see it in in many lotions, in many products as lotions or uh, body lotions or shampoo. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's also shower gel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Many. Uh, it's well known preservatives for over 50 years. Okay. And it's a kind of estrogen mimickers. Estrogen is how we call Ji Su. And mimickers is the Mo Fang Zhe. So if it's an estrogen mimicker, it, it might incre increase the risk of getting breast cancer. That one is controversial. Actually, there's no research shows that. Oh uh, yeah, but, but I'll tell you because they uh, they see it's uh, they see a uh, paraben in the breast cancer patients. Yes, yes, but they yeah. didn't build a relation between these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Found, they found they found parabens in uh, in most you know, in a lot of cancer uh, breast cancer women. sections. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't mean it causes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not really. Yeah. So, so it's not proved yet, but that's what I'll say later. Okay. Uh, so here are the uh, parabens sorts. Uh, we can all, we can usually see. One, two, three are very common, common, common. According to the European Union. In March 2011, okay. Uh, here's the standard for using parabens. For the individual, for the individual paraben content, 
the standard is the concentration less than 0.4%. And for total paraben content, the concentration is, should be less than 0.8%. And the uh, system mark, then uh, I think it's at the same, uh, in the same year, 2011, they uh, they banned bar parabens in products for children under the age of three. And then the European Union followed Denmark. So now they ban the cosmetics, uh, uh, they ban the products for kids at the age under three. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's, uh, that's what uh, the minister just said. The, uh, the American Cancer Society and the PDA, oh, sorry, FDA's Food and Drug Administration, um, they they announced that uh, there is no evidence to verify that parabens can cause breast cancer. Yeah. Uh, in general, they are safe for use, but you have to uh, you have to use it under the standard, right? Mm. Um, and they can be decomposed and excreted by the human body. Decomposed is fungi by the human body or excreted by the okay. So um, uh, some people think parabens are safe actually because if you want to uh, change to uh, change to other preservatives instead, other pre other preserv other preservatives are uh, maybe are not so. Um, are not as safe as parabens. Oh, but, but when I was preparing for the speech, I saw this title, 99% of breast cancer patients have parabens in their bodies. Is this? Always 99% of women. Uh, women? Yeah. Okay. So, so men not included. No idea. <laughs> okay. Um, because paraben has been found, I think it's in, in Western countries, uh, has been found in sections of breast cancer. Section is champion, the Ruai champion. And uh, uh, Dr. Lin is the one who just passed away. He mentioned parabens before, too. He said it needs to be proved that uh, there is a relationship between breast cancer and uh, parabens. Oh, okay, <laughs> here, uh, you know it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, you can see many products contain uh, parabens, and I just, I just went to uh, Watson's and uh, checked uh, check several products. But, but if I check uh, more of them, and, and I can feel more sure. This is the body lotion, and this is a lady's favorite, right? <laughs> the Victoria's oh. Secret, and this is the lotion too. The third one is triclosan. When triclosan, uh, is it boring? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you're asleep. It's kind of scary. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, because you are so. <laughs> Because you are so quiet. When triclosan is mixed with tap water, it may cause chloroform, which can cause cancer. Chloroform can cause cancer, okay. And uh, uh, there are 500 products with triclosan are registered by the Minister of Health and uh, Welfare. So what's that? Especially toothpaste, soap, and liquid soap, but toothpaste. But uh, when I was in Watson yesterday, I I checked uh, several of the toothpaste, but I didn't see citra clothes, and I, and I was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, it's very common. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because because the main function of triclosan is and antiseptic is a country found food, so it has it has to kill the germs or bacteria in our mouth, right? And for liquid soap, um, it can kill the bacteria on our 
hand thread. Okay, so it's widely used in these products. Highly antiseptic to gun country form. And the parts 0.03 parts per million of tricolos that can kill the organisms in the water. But in some of the pro some of the products, there is three tenth, three tenth of one percent. So it's much higher than this one, right? Okay. Uh, it's not suggested uh, that. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is suggested that women not to use products with triclosan when they are pregnant. So don't use pre uh, products containing triclosan during pregnancy. Okay. Okay, this organization <laughs> triclosan is a kind of pesticide, pesticide. So it's really highly antiseptic. And uh, here are um, except for triclosan. <laughs> okay. Um, but when you are using a product with triclosan, do not swallow it, even you, even if you are too hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and two places especially. Um, and Dr. Ling uh, mentioned about uh, mentioned this substance too. He said, rinse your mouth thoroughly uh, when you brush your teeth. Okay. Uh, because it's highly Antiseptic regal country, so be careful of the labels that say country. Okay, I think you can check the ingredients before you buy it. Okay, and you know the brand, right? And on the same brand, okay. Because I check, I check other products uh, different from this brand, and they don't have triclosan in it and for the liquid soap too. Okay, next one is PEG. Um, PEG, uh, products with PEG, sometimes, um, sometimes uh, they show the ingredients come, come with these names, okay. And its, func its functions are, in most Emulsification is ruhuazuoyong, or moisturizing. And uh, I saw many products with this kind of mark uh, in their ingredients. PG-4 or uh, 12, 18, or 100 something. And uh, it's very common. And uh, the smaller the number is, the more easily our skin may or uh, may be uh, sorry, uh, the more easily it will be absorbed by our skin. So PEG4 is dangerous than 8 and more dangerous than the 100, okay? It's easily absorbed by skin. Are you still awake? <laughs> <laughs> And there are some characteristics of PEG. It may decrease the blood, uh, the blood pressure. And uh, it's not easily decomposed. So, therefore, it may accumulate in our livers. Mm. According to the International Journal Toxicology, uh, many harmful materials come with PEG, such as metal, heavy metal, or uh, carcinogens. Mm, yeah, I found that too. And, <laughs> but actually, there are many products with uh, PEG because I really so many. Labels like this, and and the two products are fam are famous too, right? 
Okay, and this one is fragrance or perfume. Um, and this is uh, it's often found in skincare products. Uh, this is very common too. And this is how the manufacturers evade loss because uh, some manufacturers uh, lay, uh, just label fragrance. Then they don't have to label other other uh, harmful sorry other harmful chemical substances. So one word can cover a lot of bad things. Okay, so you can really see many products with fragrance. Come on, are you? Okay, so have you heard of this name? That means it can Xi Ling, right? Okay, uh, Xi Ling is very, it's very well known too. But silicon is Xi. Okay, so actually Xi Ling is, uh, in English is not silicon, it's dimethicon. Okay, <laughs> dimethicon is an artificial compound oily substance. So just remember, it's a uh, it's a, it's a substance with oil, okay. And uh, uh, we are told that uh, dimethic is not a good thing, and, and especially when we, uh, when we are choosing shampoo, uh, escape from this uh, ingredient, right? But actually, it's not as bad as what in our impression. It has some advantages. It doesn't conflict with other ingredients, so they can work together and make the uh, make the uh, okay, and it can help com uh, maintain the effectiveness of cosmetics to make its yeah, and it's non toxic, and this is important, right? It isn't absorbed by the skin, so it's safe for use. So it's actually. Uh, among the ingredients I just mentioned, I think this one is the best one compared with the other ones. Okay, okay. Uh, there's an important point about the medicine. It shows its function on the surface layer. On the surface layer, it's like uh, when we put the lip gloss or the sun, the suntan lotion, the suntan block. Uh, on our body, and uh, it shows its function on the surface. On the surface, there means it can make our skin look um, bright or pretty. Okay, so this is its function in a good way, but it doesn't work on, abs on absorption, such as skin whitening. Um, 吸收方面的话 don't rely on dimethicon. Okay, such as skin whitening. Anti-aging and uh, antioxidation is like uh, 抗氧化，对，抗氧化的。Okay, 吸收方面就不好的，对。It may cause clogged pores because it doesn't it doesn't do well on on the absorption, so it may cause clogged pores, 就是堵塞毛孔。For a reference, uh, this is the liquid liquid foundation shampoo. Uh, many uh, many brands of shampoo we can find in cosmetics versions contain dimethicon, and this uh, sunblock. Okay, uh, I would like to ask a question. Can you see can you see this mark? Can you see this label? Oh, this is clear, right? So what does it? Who knows about it? I prepared a gift for you. <laughs> 6 M. What does 6 M mean? If you open it, she can only stay for six months. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You use a lot of cosmetics. <laughs> 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 and take over your mask. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, so after you open the container and you have to finish using the thing 
within six months. Here we have a year. Is that two years? Yeah. This is so informative, right? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but as I know, uh, many Western brands are more, more like this, but, but others know. Okay. And uh, the, 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 the chemical substances is are introduced over, and I'm going to talk about the expiration date. Um, we always buy too many products when uh, when the things are on sale, especially the annual sales of blood diploma stores. Right? Yeah. But are you sure you really can finish using these things before its expiration date? Okay, and there's not a certain standard for setting up expiration dates, so the manufacturers can decide that they spread totally by themselves. Okay, so don't don't believe it too much. And okay, for pharmacy in, for pharmacy industry, they, the medicines the medicines are gone through pharmaceutical inspection first, then they put on the expiration dates. But for cosmetic for cosmetic industries they just using the new materials and occupying the market, so uh, no one would uh, no one would care too much about the expiration date, mm -hmm. especially for the things with new materials. I guess. Um, oh, okay. So here's um, uh, we have a lot of uh, we have many kinds of cosmetic products, right? And for facial cleanser or toner, toner and lotion is how we call it, okay. For these things, because uh, there's no, uh, they are, uh, they are more humid, so they get, so they, so their quality, uh, which get worse first. Okay, so we have to finish using them within six months. And for milky lotion or cream, within one year. And for essence, it's Jing Hua Yi. 1.5 years, but this is just for reference. But actually, I think it's the best to to finish using everything you buy after you after the opening or finish using it within uh, uh, eight months or yeah. Oh, and uh, so finish using your skincare products, then buy the new. Don't don't buy too many things at the same time, because sometimes we want to save more money, so we buy a lot, right? But when the things are are almost over the expiration date, and and it becomes a waste of money, right? You can give it to your mom. <laughs> uh, to, uh, to my mom. <laughs> okay, and I will tell your mom about this. <laughs> uh, Okay, and uh, we buy these things, or uh, we buy chemical products to take care of our skin, right? But if the expiration date is over, uh, when it's over the expiration date, and the quality becomes worse, so it can't take good care of your skin anymore, right? So don't just buy things for saving money. Conclusion. Okay. Um, Okay, now uh, not only the the chemical substances and uh, but also on the food we eat every day. Uh, there's uh, there are a lot of bad things, bad materials, right? So let's do more exercise and let's wear more too, yeah. to make those things um, decomposed and uh, decrete excreted. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Give the doctor the gift. I was in a rush, so I was in a coma. It's a cosmetic of the bottle. Eyeliner. A product with carrots. Oh, God. I'm hungry now. And who makes it?
do more exercise. <laughs> so, question. Yes. Do you just go to the supermarket or go to to check the, the, the ingredient of, of those cosmetics? I went to Watson then. Watson's? Mm -hmm. oh. I, I just said it. And you did a lot of preparation. Oh. Thank you.